What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App, and today I'm going to show you how to recover lost Figma files. You can do this by going into your version history and restoring a file from there. Let's dive in. Let's say you were working on a website designed for a client and you had an image that you deleted from a few weeks ago that they ended up wanting to go with. For some reason you didn't save the image and you don't have the file anymore that you were working with. This can be stressful, but thankfully Figma has a solution. There's something called version history. With old apps, you would manually need to save your files or set them up to automatically save at a preset cadence. Figma does this all automatically. To view your version history, all you have to do is click on the Figma logo at the top left hand part of the screen. There will be a drop down and from there you'll click on file and a new menu will appear. From there you'll click on show version history. Once you're there, on the right side of your screen you will see a panel that has your version history. Here you can filter to only show your autosave versions if you happen to be working with a lot of other people. You can also add the current state of your file manually by clicking the plus icon icon, or you can leave this panel at any time by clicking X. There's also instructions below on how to automatically auto save to your workflow. Let's do it right now. If I hit option command S, it says add to version history. You can add a title here and you can describe what changed. I'll save it and you can see it's been added to my version history. If you aren't consciously saving your work, don't worry. Figma automatically creates a version of the file after 30 minutes of inactivity. When you scroll to the bottom, you can click show older versions and continue looking until you get to the very beginning of the project file. One thing to note is that version history is free for everyone, but to access anything older than 30 versions, you will need a paid plan. Now that I've walked you through how it all works, let's see it in action. I wanna replace this with an image that I had on an older file. So what I'm gonna do is click here, Go to file, go to show version history, and I'm gonna go to show older, and I'm gonna look at the version that I had this morning. And once this loads, I can see, here we go, I have the previous thumbnail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this hot dog menu, it says more options. I'm gonna duplicate this version, and here I'm able to grab this file, and then I can go back to this file that I'm currently working in and I can add in the new image where I want it. If I click on one of the past versions, I can navigate a preview of the file. This is helpful in confirming that it's the right file before you take any further action. There's a small menu at the right that allows you to name, restore, duplicate, delete, or copy the link to that version. If you want to go back to a previous design and build from there, I recommend restoring the version. If all you're trying to do is get a portion of a previous file like I showed in the example, you might want to duplicate it, grab what you need, and then paste it into your current file. Version history is a great failsafe, but you should always use proper version control when working in Figma. I've attached a link in the comments that shows you how to do that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you now know how to access Figma files you previously thought you had lost. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video.